I went on a field trip today with my arts association. We went down to the Deanery Project and that was a really good time. We got to network with other artists and have a meeting with them to talk about art on the Eastern Shore and how we can get more interest in the area and tourism and all that. But that's besides the point. On the way back home, the lady I was traveling with, she said that she had seen a seagull on Monday in Sheet Harbor there and she was willing to transport it in her car back down here so we stopped and I got out and took a look We put the bird in her trunk and brought her down. There's a couple other ladies traveling with us as well and I had assumed that this bird was hit by a car but I had doubts about that because the bird was probably about about 20 feet from the road. It was by the motel. There's a little driveway that goes up and it was right in the green between there and it was just a very weird place for a roadkill animal to have bounced and landed. But as soon as I took her out of the bag I knew that there was something very very strange going on here. And then it clicked into me what it was. So I'm going to show you the bird and you can see the marks that are on this bird, especially the beak. And then after I show the marks, I'm going to tell you what killed this bird and how those marks helped me determine them. So the first thing I noticed was her beak. She's got this hole right there. You can see that. And it's really dark and charred around that hole. Very strange. Very round. But it's also, the dark is on the roof of the mouth, in the bottom jaw there, and her, the tip of her tongue is kind of charcoal. She also has on her left wing some blackening some burns and again on her left wing she has some burns so from this I assumed that this little bird was electrocuted it was an extremely windy day Monday so she probably got caught in the wind and couldn't avoid the lines and then I said well what else could cause this and how do I know that she was electrocuted and this is the clue that really, other than the burn marks on the wings and the, the beak charred, it was these feathers right here that really set this off, that this is what had happened to this bird, because they're flame touched and they're burnt. So she went into the lines and some of her feathers caught fire and scorched a bit. Really beautiful bird, it's just too bad that she got into the lines and into the wind, but it's very interesting. I have never seen a case of electrocution before, so this is new for me. Her eyes are still very bright. So this is the very first case of electrocution that I've come across that I know of. I've come across animals that had been shot, bludgeoned with a hammer, hit by cars, but never an electrocution. So this is the first for me and it, it's very educational to see. Um, she must have bit down on the, on the line and her wings must have made contact with the other ones and 